Today we gotta talk about the hardest character trait to develop, in my opinion. So if that's something that interests you, just stay to the end of the video. It'll be a quick one, like always. But with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so we're talking about the hardest character trait to build. Is it empathy? Is it happiness? Is it the mindset? Well, to me, I believe the hardest character trait to form is discipline, to form it the right way, because uh, we have a lot of distractions in this world, especially with like social media and just like a quick instant gratification instead of seeing it for a long-term process and delayed gratification. But me personally, I believe discipline is probably the number one factor in seeing if someone becomes successful. And success, you know, has a whole different meaning for everybody. But ultimately, success is something that takes a long time, five to 10 years, because you're trying to be yourself. You're not trying to be like everybody else. So you're chasing what you believe is right. And usually that develops over like five to 10 to, you know, 12 to 15 years. If you guys listen to rap, then you know Russ and Russ has been doing it for like 12, 15 years now. It takes time to build something great, right? And all that comes into having disciplined actions mixed with passion. And the way that I've built my discipline in my life with everything that I do is even when I feel unmotivated, there's a little voice in my head. It's like, no, you have to do it right now because that's going to build the character traits to get to where you need to be. Like Kobe said, if someone spends four hours in the gym, you spend eight. In 30 days, they did 30 days of training. In 30 days, you did 60 days of training. The gap gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you can create this habit of always being disciplined and always doing actions that are better for the step ahead than in five to 10 years and naturally fall in line. But people have short-term discipline, in my opinion, and that's when you start something, you have big dreams, and in six months you give it up because it wasn't doing what you thought it was going to do. But it's like, what business, brand, person, anything has built like that in six months and sustained growth? It doesn't necessarily have to be towards like business or anything else. It could also be like, I want to be a more balanced person, you know, in my head. You know, there's different approaches for everything. Everybody's success is different. I don't want you to think it's just, you know, chasing money because obviously not, but it's a lot deeper, you know, a lot more full. And another tip that I use to become more disciplined is a uh, whiteboard. And I put it right in front of my door. So that's pretty much the first thing we see when we walk in and the first thing we see when we leave. And it's always like, what are your goals for 30 days? How do you want to attack this week? You know, a little saying, just a game plan. And none of these weekly goals are exactly where I want to be, but it's disciplined actions to get to where I want to be. And if you truly want to achieve any type of harmony in life, I do believe you need discipline because this world can get very distracting and consuming. But the good part is discipline can be learned by anybody. You have to want it. You you just have to want it. That's the easiest way to explain it. There's nothing else that's going to motivate you more than you. You have to pick on the bad days to still do it because you know that's going to form your character more than anything. And I like to live by the saying where it's, you should embrace the madness and love the madness and seek peace in the madness because... Well, as humans, we all have madness and we all have peace and we kind of flip flop in between. But if you could embrace the madness and, you know, be disciplined in the madness and do what you have to do and still be happy in the madness, when those peaceful days come, it's such a breeze and it's so smooth and it transitions so nice. That's just what I like to see, you know. But hey, again, I'm just a YouTuber and I'm barely even a YouTuber. So whatever I say, just take it for what it is. But with that being said, guys, I hope you appreciated this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you dropped a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you got to do to stay in the loop. I dropped a video about every other day helping you mentally physically financially spiritually and emotionally all free all you got to do is subscribe but with that being said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one peace